Hey Jeanette, so today's video is going to be all about what to wear to any wedding because dress codes for weddings can be truly baffling and weddings are all around so it's useful to know what to wear. So I thought I would do a whole guide showing you different looks that I've worn before to weddings and been very comfortable and happy in. My first example is for a wedding with no dress code. So you're just freewheeling here, you're wearing whatever you like. This dress is from a collaboration with Anthropology by Colette Dinigan, and it has a really fun, whimsical print with seahorses and beach themes and flamingos, and it's all in pretty pastels, which I think are universally appropriate for any spring, summer, or even early fall wedding. You can see I've paired it with my favorite handbag because you should always wear your favorite accessories. So that's my green Chanel chevron flap and some sparkly shoes from Jimmy Choo because they will really help to dress up any dress that you feel like wearing. My second outfit is for a formal or festive dress code. So this dress is a pretty emerald green. It's from Tadashi Shoji at Holt Renfrew. It has really pretty lace detailing paneling on the sides and back and it's chiffon which is a little bit more of a dressy fabric. If you feel like you need to sort of make something look a bit more put together and ladylike pearls are a great choice for a wedding. Here I'm wearing my Chanel wallet on chain and for a festive dress coat I think jewel tones are especially appropriate so anything green purple navy blues are really good choices I really like um, just a full rich color and I paired it with my Christian Louboutin heels and the reason I picked these is because they're very modern so they add a touch of edge to an otherwise very classic dress my second dress code is casual or beach wedding. This is a tricky one because you want to look like you made an effort, but you also want to look really carefree and easy and you don't want to be that person in a poofy dress on the beach. So this skirt is very easy. It's from Club Monaco. It's a beautiful light aqua color and I did pair it with a t-shirt. If it, you felt like it was a bit more of a dressy wedding, I would recommend a blouse. And I love the combination of the crisp white and teal with gold accessories. I think it's a really nice combination. Anything that you feel like are oceanic colors, I would really recommend for a Beach wedding rather than something overly bright. I think it'll just pair really nice with the background. And wedge shoes are a great choice unless you're going to be barefoot. Um, it'll keep you from sinking into the sand or even the grass. So it's great for any kind of outdoor wedding. For my fourth dress code, it's black tie or black and white is a dress code that I've seen increasingly um, for wedding invitations. So black tie is tricky because you want to make sure that you look demure rather than sexy LBD because that won't be appropriate for a wedding. So this dress from Tory Burch is a really pretty silk blend and it hangs in a way that is still really comfortable and easy but also dressy with the ruching. The heels that I'm wearing are by Kirk Geiger. I love a little bit of sparkle. Again, you can see I'm wearing my wallet on chain clutch, which shows you how convertible a clutch bag can be to wear to multiple weddings. My fifth dress code is for an English wedding or a garden party. So you can see I'm wearing a fascinator from phase eight. I like to style fascinators very simply, but you could certainly do an updo with your hair. I just kept the hair very simple for this video. My dress and belt are from Ted Baker. Bloom prints are definitely a favorite of mine for weddings. I think they just have a really romantic vibe that's going to be appropriate for anything but the edgiest of weddings. So if you feel like it's a classic setting and a classic bride, then I really recommend any kind of floral print that suits your taste. These heels are from Zara. You can see they're a mid sort of kitten heel um, in a nude color which will go with everything. So they're a great choice if you have a lot of weddings to go to and you just want to buy one pair of shoes. So congratulations, you have graduated from the under five minute L. Florence School of Dressing for Weddings. So thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe for my next guide on style and like this video if you found it useful and I will see you in my next one.